don't touch me. Came over. Don't touch me. Out of that protest by Colin Kaepernick, 49ers quarterback knelt instead of standing during the national anthem. He's fired! They have testimony from internal NYPD investigators that revealed they actually determined that that officer was using a forbidden chokehold on Garner. There's a lot of things that need to change. Uh, one, one specifically is police brutality. There's people being murdered unjustly and not being held accountable. I think it's a terrible thing. Maybe he should find a country that works better for him. Let him try. He was trying to arrest Garner for selling untaxed cigarettes outside a Staten Island convenience store. He's going to stand up and show pride in a flag for a country that oppresses black people and people of color. I think it's very disrespectful to our country, our country, our country. Today, there was a big yet unfortunate announcement. CBS News has learned that federal prosecutors will not bring charges against any New York City police officer involved in the death of Eric Gardner. That's right. Eric Gardner, the 43 year old who lost his life due to excessive force from the New York Police Department, will not have justice. His last words, I can't breathe were displayed on the chest of LeBron James in the layup line and became our battle cry for said justice. A medical examiner ruled Garner's death a homicide, saying the chokehold was the cause. Chokeholds are prohibited by the New York Police Department. Eric Garner, along with Sandra Bland, Tamir Rice, Trayvon Martin, Philando Castile, Michael Brown, Alton Sterling, the list goes on and on. And on. They are the reason Colin Kaepernick knelt in the first place. Kaepernick stood up for what was pure and true. He stood up for equal rights and simply to bring attention to non Caucasian people in America losing their lives for simply no reason. Today is another example of Colin Kaepernick's fight. Furthermore, here's a name that you will remember Attorney General William Barr made the final decision not to charge the officer choosing to follow the recommendations of Brooklyn prosecutors. Yes, William Barr, the man who is attorney general, but really Donald Trump's lawyer who trumped the entire thing in the most Trumpish way. The president or anyone at the White House ever asked or suggested that you open an investigation of anyone? Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Uh... Yes or no? Could you, could you repeat that question? It is exactly what Colin Kaepernick told KTVU when he was still employed and not kicked out of the National Football League. Cops are getting paid leave for killing people. That's not right. And the examples, unfortunately, are there almost every single day. Police officer was found not guilty in the shooting death of a black driver. They determined that no probable cause exists to file any charge against officers. The Tulsa police officer not guilty in the shooting death of an unarmed black man. Colin Kaepernick said it. He protested because black men and women and minorities are dying in this country for no reason at all because police forces use excessive force when dealing with people who are not white. Colin Kaepernick gave up his entire career for this. He said that they were getting paid leave, right? Well, check this out. Officer Pantaleo, who's 34, has been on desk duty without a shield or a gun since Eric Garner passed away, a status that has allowed him to accrue pay and pension benefits. Eric Garner had a family. And now with the help of William Barr, he is yet another statistic of the lives lost to excessive force that goes unpunished, unjustly put to bed, and another officer roaming the streets to not necessarily protect and serve, but to hamper minorities in America. It is exactly what Colin Kaepernick knelt for. Something like this, where even police get away with it time and time again and nothing happens. The legacy of Eric Garner should live on, and so should Colin Kaepernick's.